What's going on YouTube? Mo's here with another video. I've got a pretty uh, pretty large haul for you today. Uh, some really awesome books, so stick around. I got some really amazing deals and also some really shitty deals. And I'll explain that when I get to it. Um, I went to this place called Wally's Treasure. I've been, I talked about it before, you know, everything's a dollar and if it's number one, it's, it's two dollars or 30 cents. If it's 30 cents and below, you know, cover price, it's it's two dollars, but everything else is a dollar. They don't care what kind of book it is or what it is. Um, I also got something from eBay, uh, my comic book shop pull list, which I'll start off with, and then I got uh, a comic book shop I went to when I went to go visit my uh, girlfriend's parents in Lansing area. So, and then I have another antique store, which was a stud. I don't even know why I even got the books I did. Just anyways. So we're just going to get started with my pull list. We get, get this going here. All right. Um, Sinistro number one. That's the only thing I had in my pull list. Um, I really like this book. Uh, this this story. It, I like it. I'm glad it's back. So, and while I was there at my comic book store, I picked up a, a couple of new titles uh, just to see what they're like. And that's um, Robin, Son of Batman. Now, I probably won't know really what's going on in this if I haven't read any Batman and Robin, but I'm pretty sure I'm just going to go look on, you know, Wikipedia and see what's happened in the past and and kind of catch up that way because that's really easy to do. And then I also picked up uh, JLA, number one. Now, they had a whole bunch of different covers. They had a cover with all of them together. They had one of the Flash. Uh, you know, they just had everyone on it. So, um... I picked up the the Aquaman one because I thought it looked the coolest. So let's go with that. Um, next is the uh, stuff from the Lansing store that I went to when I go when I went to go visit my uh, girlfriend's parents and have a cookout and stuff, which went really well. So I'm just gonna get started on that stuff. Uh, the Omega Man. I know this isn't like an old book or anything like that. It's, it's relatively new, relatively new. So I um. I picked it up because I just wanted to try it out, and and yeah, it's all right, you know. Um, Weird World, uh, number one, it's part of the Secret Wars. The only reason why I'm I'm gonna pick up this series is because of Mike Dela uh, Mike Delamundo, and uh, I really like his art. He did the art in um, the Electra series, so really awesome. Uh, really excited about that. Um, oh, Kill Strike. Now this is really funny. Uh, it's just a four-parter. Uh, this this guy right here, you know, finds out that hit one of his comic books from like the '90s, like the '90s cheese, you know, books, are uh, are going up in value, and this is the character from it. Well, he goes to his parents' house and picks up the book, and the guy comes out of the comic book, this character, and he's in the real life, and uh, it's it's kind of funny. So, uh, if you haven't checked that out, uh, for a good laugh, definitely pick that up. And then I picked up Arcadia number two because I like the first one. So, and my shop was all out of them, so I said, what the heck, I'll pick it up. Now, they had a whole bunch of dollar bins, like crazy. And they weren't just like, you know, your average dollar bins. They were anything that's been sitting on their shelves for four months, they put in the dollar bins, no matter what it is. Except for, I think, variants, but whatever. So I went through them. I went through them kind of quickly just to, you know, because they were... Oh, I just went through them quickly, but I picked up a few things. Uh, Hulk versus Iron Man number three. If you remember from my previous video, um, those five below packages I got, they had number one and number two, and I picked this up for a dollar. So pretty cool, and I have three of them, uh, the number one, two, and three. Mars Attacks, uh, Firstborn, this is number two. I mostly picked it up because the cover looks pretty rad. Um, pretty excited about that. Imperial, I don't know what number it is. I know I have the first one, and I just haven't gotten around to reading it yet. Just because, I don't know, I think it's just in that pile. Everyone's got that pile, you know what I'm talking about. And then I and, uh, picked up number, whatever number this one is. It could be the third one, could be the second one. But I, I love the I love the art in it, so, and the cover art. So, definitely pick those up, dollar. Uh, Badass, number two by Dynamite Comics. I thought this was an awesome cover just by itself, so I picked that up for, you know, just the only, only dollar. 
Origin 2. This is what I'm talking about. Like, cool stuff for a dollar. You know, and it was $4.99. So, I know this. I didn't even read Origin. I don't know. You guys can maybe tell me. Is this the second volume? You know, I'm not sure. But it's number one. If it is number one of the second volume, I picked it up. It was a dollar. So, whatever. And then the last two I got there were Rogue Trooper number one. Which uh, I heard it from this book from um, from Tim Morant he, when he did his contest video. I'm sorry I didn't do one, Tim. But um, anyways, uh, he talked about this book, and I found a couple single issues of it. I don't know if this is the same one, but this is really good. I read the first one, and uh, I really liked it. So uh, I probably will most likely pick up the trade because I bet you these single single issues are probably really hard to find. But number one, really awesome. Really like really like that book and then I picked up number three as well because that was there so super awesome art and everything okay so that was from that was my poll list and the Lansing comic book store which was awesome um next we're gonna do this antique store I went to on um, my way home from work and it was just a total ripoff I think I don't even know why I did it it's just I'm still pissed at myself for doing it um there was only like a couple guys with comics and they wanted so much for each comic like I've never paid that much for these kind of comics and I don't even know why I did but I did so I guess it's just I didn't want to leave empty handed I'm not sure but here we go I got a Ninjak number one and you are reading that price correctly it's four dollars each or three for ten three comics for ten which is a total ripoff I mean Jesus, that is just terrible. I'm kicking myself still about it, but whatever. You know, it's done and over with. Captain America, 329. Awesome cover. That's the only reason why I picked that up. And then another one, um, Punisher Warzone. Because I just picked it up because I love the cover of that one too. And then when I was walking around, they have a whole bunch of people with other booths and stuff. I found this uh, over Street comic price guide uh for two bucks it's probably like the best deal i got there so i got it um i know it's old but you know it's good to know things it's good for to know like you know first appearances and and all that i don't even care if it's that up to date or not i mean i don't even know how much the new ones go for i think they're like somewhere in the rounds of 40 you know i don't know you can correct me if i'm wrong but that is the antique shop that i will never go back to ever again so, now for the eBay. I'm saving the best stuff for last. I'm already at 8 minutes, so I better hurry up here. Um, I got a book off eBay, and uh, this is how I got it. It's in this priority envelope, and it was like that. All bent and stuff. I don't know if you can see that. Um, you better see it like that. And it was free shipping, so I mean, I can't really complain too much about it but still the book had no protection it's, he just threw the book in there with the uh the what do you call it the pay bill or whatever you know so and i i got this i got punisher number one of the first limited series because i just i see people picking up this book and i love the cover of it i love the colors and i love this guy kind of reminds me of like lionel richie with a gun I don't know. It's it's good. Uh, it's in pretty pretty decent. I'd say VF plus condition. So I'm glad to have that. I'm glad it didn't get ruined during the shipping. But it's still just the principle of it. Like that's just terrible. Like why couldn't you package it better? Anything would have been better than what it was. But anyways, enough of that rant. So. Now for the Wally's Treasure, um, got a lot of good stuff. Uh, he had new books uh, that he must have just got, and there was already a guy in there digging, and uh, from what I saw in his pile, he had some really good shit. So I started to dig really quick, plus I had my girlfriend with me, and, and you know I don't want her to be bored too long, so I basically just ran through, he probably about, it was probably a matter of like, like seven or eight short boxes that I, I went through and he had 
runs. Like, I could have bought, like, maybe, like, three runs if I wanted to, if I really wanted to spend the money he had in the books that he got. So, anyways, let's just get started. I'm trying to ramble on too much here. Uh, the Punisher War Journal, number one. And I could have probably got all the way up to, like, number 10, number 12. Like, he just had, like, completes of that, and I, I don't know. I just got the ones I really wanted, the ones I liked. And then, um, the Punisher War Journal number two. Uh, awesome Daredevil. I'm really getting to Daredevil lately. That's, like, my new thing, too, along with, uh, with New Teen Titans. So, and, uh, this is the, it's the Daredevil uh, 252. I'm pretty sure I have this one, but it's in really, really, really bad condition. This one's, like, uh, you know, pretty good, so. Uh... The Wolverine Saga, that's number one, looks pretty cool, pretty excited to get into these, and then I got uh, number two of that, and then I've been hearing a lot of people talk about the Blue Beetle, well, I guess not a lot of people, I, I can't, oh man, it's ran the tip of my tongue who he is, oh. anyways, I've heard people talk about the Blue Beetle, and I'm really curious to check it out, so I saw that one in that, in those boxes, and I pulled that out. So blue num uh, blue beetle number two twenty one. Excuse me. And now for like the most excellent finds in this whole thing. I mean, I'm just gonna show you right now. There's no order or anything, but man, I was excited to get these, and even still after they're even there after that guy was done digging through them. But uh, X Force uh, number one. I don't know what the significance of this one is. You have to tell me. Uh, it's not like a hundred percent excellent or anything. Uh, I, I do see there's some discoloration around the one here. And, um, but other than that, I think it's still in its official bag. I'm not really sure. I haven't like, you know, opened up the, uh, the regular bag that it's been in. So, and then this is the one that really blew my mind. And this is probably the best deal I've gotten on the comic in a long time long time and that is uh new mutants 87 uh the first appearance of cable and i got that for one dollar that is correct one dollar i got that for and uh no don't get me wrong it's not like in perfect shape you know you get a board behind it it's got a bit of a spine roll a bit and that and it's got this little nick up here going on you guys can see that or not. Let me see here. It's got that going on. Don't know what that is. But, I mean, it is in... Corners are pretty pretty tight and sharp. It doesn't have a, a board behind it, but... Man. I've seen this book go for... Quite a bit. So, and to get it for a dollar... I mean, all day. And that, that, that was still there after that guy ran through... Uh, those, those small boxes, I mean, he had some good stuff, I saw, he had a couple, uh, uh, you know, single issues of, um, Watchmen, and I was like, wow, there's, there's some good stuff, he had a pretty good stack by the time I got there, so, who, who knows what else was in that box, but very excited about that one, very awesome, so excited about that, um, moving on, uh, Wolverine, I think this is the 1990, 1988, number one which is still awesome this book goes for like 10 bucks i got it for two so very awesome and uh wolverine number eight love this cover i love the hulk love this i just I, it's one of my favorites i love i've seen this it's, it's iconic cover so um yeah that was that and then to move on here spider-man versus wolverine another cool title it's it's pretty pretty thick book too it's a you know, it's got some got some thickness to it, so it's going to be quite a good read. Uh, the Uncanny X-Men, they had so much Uncanny. And I do believe that this is the second appearance of Bishop. Now, I digged for the first appearance, and I didn't find it. I already have the first appearance, but it's not in, it's in terrible condition. It is reader copy by far like it is crazy but this is still the second appearance of I, I i could be wrong so correct me if i'm wrong but the second appearance of bishop um i got black hawk uh the third book i got one two so that's pretty cool got it for a buck um 
I'm not sure if I already have these ones or not. But I picked them up. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 317. It's a McFarlane cover. Awesome cover. And then uh, 318. And I saw this laying on the counter. And I thought it looked really cool. I don't know if it's worth anything. But I mean it's not like in great shape. So it's not like I'd get much for it or anything. But um, that's a Demon. Uh, number one. So I thought that looked pretty sick just in itself as well. So, And then the last two I got uh, Alpha Flight number one. <clears throat> Not sure what series that's it, that, that is. But uh, it's, yeah, one of six. So looks like it's a little mini series. But whatever. And then I got this uh, another Najak one. For a for two bucks, so I mean I paid two dollars more for the other one. <clears throat> All this writing's on the on the bag, but yeah, awesome finds. You know some terrible, terrible, you know pain incidents, but you know I'm I'm really glad with what I got with you know for a buck. I mean that that's so awesome. I love that Wolverine number eight and. You know, this one's a really good one. But that New Mutants, man, 87. I could have pooped my pants when I saw it. I swear to God. Got so excited. For a dollar. All day. So, anyways, uh, I'd like to thank everyone for watching, subscribing. Um, super awesome of you. I know I've gotten, like, I want to say, like, three or four new subscribers. So, thank you very much for subscribing and watching my videos. I... I love it when I when I get a new subscriber, um, but yeah, I uh, hope everyone had a great has a great weekend, and uh, and thank you for watching again. Have a good one.